In this video, I will let you show you how to froth milk for latte art with the DeLonghi Dedica espresso machine. This is not the only way, but after months of trying different techniques, this is the one that works best for me. I like to prepare the coffee first, as frothing milk takes less time than preparing the coffee, making this the shortest overall time to prepare the drink. I've tried different approaches and this is what works best for my workflow. I encourage you to try and find the best way that works for you. Let's first discuss the shortcomings of the Dedica regarding the steam wand. It comes with a Panarello wand that automatically injects air into the milk. This will not give you the control you need for getting the best results. The steam quality is not the best as it has a higher water quantity than more expensive machines. The underlying wand is made of rubber and rather short making it difficult to reach bigger pictures or low milk quantity. In spite of all this, you can still manage to make decent milk for latte art. Here is what I do that gives me the best results. Remove the Panarello ones. Some people complain that the tip of their rubber band will shoot out. It only happened to me once in many months of daily use and because I accidentally bent it. As a precaution, I have put a plastic cable seal to hold it in place as shown here. This setup is enough for me, but you can install the Rancilio Silva metal wand. There is a video showing how to do this, but it will void your warranty. Let's talk about the theory for frothing milk properly. Milk stretches better when it is cold. As you are injecting air with hot steam, time is against you. Milk needs to be at a temperature of 60 to 65 degrees Celsius when finished. You can use a thermometer, or what I do, is just wait until I can no longer hold the pitcher, which should be around the same temperature. The more gentle air is injected, the smaller the foam will be. This is what you want for latte art. Milk should be mixing as much as possible during the process to have an optimum mix of foam and milk. Having a pitcher appropriate for the amount of milk will help you to achieve all this. These are the steps I use to froth milk. I use 4 ounces of cold milk, that is around 120 milliliters, in a small pitcher. Use a cup with a little bit of water in it to remove the residual water in the wand line. The water is in the cup to avoid any splatter. Insert the wand deep in the milk to start the swirl and avoid big bubbles. Slowly lower the picture until one third of the tip is above the milk level. You can tell the correct position by its sound. First it is loud and high pitch until the once it's just above the surface where it starts to make a much softer sound as air is being injected. Be careful not to lift too much and adjust the picture as the milk stretches. Once you have enough foam, bury the wand in the milk to heat it up. Always keep the milk spinning. Tap and mix the milk in the pitcher until it starts to shine like wet paint. Once done, clean the tank. I'm not a barista, but this is what works for me. Tilt the coffee cup to increase the depth of the coffee where the milk will be poured. Have a 90 degree angle between the cup handle and the pitcher handle. This will have the pattern aligned with you as you drink. Reverse if you use your left hand to drink. Pour the milk high and in the center of the coffee as to let it pass through the coffee crema and mix evenly. Lower the pitcher so the foam sits on top of the crema. Be careful not to spill the coffee. Make the desired pattern. Rosetta is here shown. There are several videos about latte art made by proper baristas that can help you master the technique. One thing that is true is that practice and patience are essential. I wanted to show you that this coffee machine is perfectly capable of frothing milk for latte art. I strongly suggest using a non-pressurized basket as it allows you to take your coffee drinks to a whole new level.
I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching.